Okay. I'm assuming I have to jump to this rope and shimmy across or something, right? How else would I get into the window? I don't see anything else. How the fuck did he get up here anyway? Huh. Yeah. Do the shimmy! Thank God this perfectly useless rope is here. Hell you don't, you idiot. There we go. Shit, the door's locked. How the hell are we gonna get in? Here? I thought I saw an open window. Nope, not here. Alright, I mean, I'm seeing things, or maybe it's over here. The vent I can get in? No, I thought maybe I could get into the, the grate system, the ventilation system. Huh. talking about there it is what the door or is there something over here at the front all these windows are barred do I need to climb across aha like this okay gotcha oh my god you almost died. It's close. Yeah, you almost fucking ate it, kid. There's the window. Okay. What the hell? Stole something else. Just stealing everything from this fucking museum. <laughs> You already stole several million dollars of priceless heirlooms. Now you're back for the ring? Fucking clean this out, kid. One ring to rule them all. One ring to bind them. One compass that I'm stealing. <laughs> and fucking over your your national history. Ta-da! Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Uh-oh, the men in black are here. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just... Hand it over. We gotta flash your son. You're not gonna remember any of this. Now, the ring. What ring? I ate it. Ha ha! What ring? 
Sleight of hand. <laughs> That's a blue pen, pen and teller trick there for you. How do you like that shit? Oh, you fucking bitch! You are, boy. <laughs> You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. I didn't know Martha Stewart was so hands on. Again! What do you think you're doing? Come He's on. just a kid. Hit him again! Stop him! <laughs> Fuck him! Oh, I gotta run! Men in black! Holy crap! Oh, go! Run, run! Tommy Lee Jones is right behind you, hurry up! Fuck. Ah! You're done! Ah, oh, I got caught! Oh, they're gonna rape me! Ah! Oh! I got raped! Holy crap! He has the ring! There we go. Break the door down! Oh, oh, oh. Get Beaver! Get him! He's worth millions! Oh, square! No, you can't have Beaver! No! No, Beaver must live! Run, Bieber! Run like the wind! Who the hell are these guys? They're a bunch of assholes. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Hands off! This body is insured for several billion dollars. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Who? Who? Boston! You little Boston! I'm gonna, I'm gonna spank you like a little boy. Here I come! Little bastard! Ching 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 Chong chong ching chong Oh man, they shot at me. They're shooting at me? Oh, he killed himself! He killed himself? What? Alright, somehow I'm ahead. I teleported ahead of where I was. Oh, fuck me. Fuck his shit. You run up here! Uh, run! Oh, oh shit! Here, uh, kid, get out of here! Oh shit, Sully's helping me. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Get the fuck out. Oh, right this bike away. There you go. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! This wasn't in my contract! Oh, renegotiating after this stunt. Oh! Fuck! I'm not even trying to make a sandwich. Come on. Oh shit! The Price is Right is my favorite show. Oh no! No! Right in this guy's living room. You're gonna have to wait with me! We've got him! <laughs> oh, that was sweet! He hit the guy in the fucking face with the fridge! Oh, God, King of Queens! Get that shit off the TV! What the hell? Did someone just fall off the rooftop? I think a guy just fell off the roof. Holy shit! He's gonna break the glass! Oh! <laughs> what an asshole! Fuck! Go, go, go! Go, Beaver, go! Oh shit! And he killed himself. <laughs> Look what we have here. Maybe I shouldn't have gone base jumping with these fucking dress shoes on. <laughs> Fucking parkour and shit. What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. And accept the bullet. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Only one man gets your your sweet ass Bieber, and it's me. You'll be my love slave for the next decade. Okay, kid. <laughs> you can relax.
Mexican. We're safe here. Go on. Fuck you. Suit yourself. You don't want it. Why does everything here taste like a date rape drug? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? All right, how I much mean, of a cut do you want? 25%, cut, 30%? Right? You gotta have an angle. Licensing rights. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. <laughs> don't worry, you'll be seeing me naked enough. You'll get to know me real well. Okay. I suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on. Fuck you, kid. it's my promise ring. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Not until I'm married to Miss Gomez will we have sex. That's what it's inscribed right there on the ring. What is this? Parvis? Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. He sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Uh, so, <laughs> like a boarding school? That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for them. Look, kid. A client wants something. I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Yep, unemployed gigolo. Okay, look. The economy's really bad, too. That was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like ten inches big. Like millions in plundered treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. This is all kind of sexual innuendo, isn't it, kid? Well, and Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Mm. Okay. Thought that would be obvious. Well, I'm you a got talent. <laughs> but you got a lot to learn. You got talent? He wants to be his manager. Okay, and I'll teach you. See? He wants to be his manager. He's going to take him on the road. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. Son, you're the most say? feminine boy I've ever seen. You're Try clearly out of place. My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Bieber. Nathan Bieber. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. And so the epic partnership was formed. Bieber and Sully. Man and feminine boy. And they're dead. Fuck. Oh well. End of game. Um, they're gone.
All right, Knight. It was a setup. They didn't really get shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sorry, you got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that racket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. <laughs> I got a little swept up in the moment. Huh? You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Broad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. Mm, good plan. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. Oh, it's another sexual innuendo.